يا حامل القرآن قد خصك الرحمن بال بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we ask him to upon his blessing and mercy on our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his companions and those who ever follow their footsteps until the judgment day. So inshallah, ikhwani wa ahbabi fillah, my brothers and sisters, as you can see here, lesson one, you know, the Arabic alphabet on the board. So today, inshallah, I'll be reading the Arabic alphabet to you guys inshallah so you can take your pen write everything down and also rectify your mistakes so here we go inshallah with tabarak wa ta'ala ya hamil alquran qad khassak arrahman bil fadl wa tijan so these are the Arabic alphabets and I will start reading them. So listen carefully and say it after me after me also. So here we go. Alif Alif Ba Ba Ta Ta Tha you bring out your tongue that's why I put it in a circle so if you see any letter in a circle know that you have to bring out your tongue Tha Jim Jim Ha Ha this one is the Ha as the small Ha so let's say it in that way. And this one, Ha Al Kubra, we use you know the deep voice for this one. Ha. So this one, Ha. Ha. Don't say Ha, please. That's wrong. Even though there are a lot of people saying that. This letter you are seeing, that's why I put it in a bracket. If you see in a, any letter in a bracket, know that it's part of the Huruf Al Mufakhram, which means that they are the full mouth letters. So this is the way we should pronounce it. Kha, kha, and not kha, please. Kha, dal, 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 dal. Bring out your tongue. Dal, ra, ra. So for ra, I put it in a different bracket. I mean, in a red bracket. Which means that, like, I mean, um, sometimes it is part of the proof and mufakham and the full mouth letters, and sometimes it is not. So, whenever ra it is um, in the state of fatha, I mean, carrying fatha or dhamma, in that time it will be part of the proof and mufakham. When we say fatha, we mean a line that is always top, and kasra is this one, bum. So, whenever this letter Ra is carrying Fatha or Dhamma, then it will be part of the Huruf Al Mufakhama. And whenever the Ra is um, um, carrying Kasra, then it is not part of the Huruf Al Mufakhama. I think that's clear. So here we go, inshallah. Zai, Zai, Seen, just like you are smiling. Seen. Sheen, this one you bring more air. Sheen. Sod. Sod also is part of the Huruf Al Mufakham. So the Rulamas of Tajweed um, have said that, like, um, when pronouncing Sod, don't pull your lips like this. Sod, that's wrong. Even though there are a lot of people doing it, but it's still wrong. The correct one is Sod, Sod, not Sod. Bod, bod, bod. We pronounce it from one side of our cheek, maybe the from the left side or the right side, but you can't use both according to the ulama's. 
but hence you guys are just starting we can say but as time goes on you know it will come naturally be it in that so but the correct one is board o board board po po it is also part of the full mouth letters the the you need to bring out your tongue so these are the only three letters when pronouncing them we bring out our tongue you see sa and the second one the the third one the and still the is part of the full mouth letters i many people find it difficult to pronounce this letter but it's still simple just listen carefully ain we started with this sound ah 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 the ain sound ain not ain ain so the, don't pronounce ain as alif if not you will be saying uh, when reciting the quran example amma yatasa'alun you will be saying amma yatasa'alun so there is a different ain ghain Rain. Rain also is part of the full mouth letters. R, R, rain. Fa. Fa. Qaf. The first sound. Pa, pa, qaf. Kaf. So this one is Qaf. This one, Kaf. Okay? So don't pronounce Qaf as Kaf or don't pronounce Kaf as Qaf. This one off, this one k, the k sound, calf, calf, lamb, lamb, meme, meme, noon, noon, ha, the ha al kubra, the big one, this one. When we are pronouncing it, we use the deep voice. Ha, but, the, but don't force yourself also. Just like some people do, they will be like, ha, ha, that's too much. Just say, ha, ha. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have Hamza. Hamza. Jazakumullahu khaira. This is the first lesson and inshallah I will be trying to post the lesson to be in the ta'ala as soon as possible. Subhanak Allahumma ashadu an la ilaha illa ant astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayh wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ya hamil al-Qur'an قد خصك الرحمن بالفضل والتجان